thinking about taking a family vacation to Jeju Island, but you don't know where to start. Well, in this episode, I'll show you around some of the best family-friendly attractions on the island. Welcome back. I'm Angel, also known as Ajumonni here in Korea. And I vlog about my life here on Jeju Island, or as some would say, the Hawaii of Korea. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the best family-friendly attractions on the island. I myself am a mother of two, my eldest being five and my youngest being 16 months. And so a lot of the places that we like to visit here on the island kind of revolves around them. Personally, when my husband and I are planning out trips to take our two boys, family-friendly facilities are important, but more than anything, we just want to give them a great time. We want to give them an amazing experience and fond memories. So I've put together a list of some of my favorite go-to places here on the island that will give you just that. So much of Jeju's charm is in its nature, and so a lot of the best places will be outdoors, so that's where we'll start. Number one, Kim Young Maze Park. The park was built by an American professor at the Jeju National University who funded the entire project with his own money. The maze, of course, is the main attraction here. I'd say the difficulty level is perfect for older children, although I did see a few adults get really frustrated. We've been here maybe 15 minutes now <laughs> and we're just walking in circles. <laughs> There's even a cute stamp mission where they give you a pamphlet and you have to walk around the maze and find all the stamp stations and stamp the pamphlet as you find them. It really doesn't mean anything because there's no prize but the kids love it so. There's a really beautiful flower garden that they've created a pathway in so you can just walk around and enjoy the flowers but also at the flower garden are photo zones that they've set up and each zone actually comes with its own cell phone tripod so I thought that was really considerate and smart. All things considered, I'd say this place ranks a 5 out of 5 for being insta-friendly. But here is the icing on the cake. If that wasn't enough, the park also has a full-on playground that just goes above and beyond. Not only does it have common playground equipment, but it has all this other stuff that kids go wild over. There's just so much to love here. Like I said, this place is one of my ultimate favorite places to go with my kids on Jeju. Number two, the Kim Young Dolphin Yacht Tour. I do have to admit this one is not budget friendly. It does break the bank a little, but it's a really unique experience and you get to taste a little bit of luxury, so maybe it's worth it. The tour is also located in Kimyong, not too far from the Maze Park, and the tour includes a 60 minute yacht ride, dolphin watching, and fishing. Reservations do need to be made in advance if you want to secure a spot. However, their website is not English friendly, so the best way I'd say to do it is by phone. Once you get to the port, you have to first register up on the second floor and jot down some basic information. Then you can hang out until it's time to board. Also good to know, they offer free motion sickness medication if you feel like you'd need some. One thing to note from the guidelines is that heels on the boat are prohibited. Unfortunately, when we went, let's just say the weather conditions were less than stellar. So we were not able to see any dolphins, we were not able to catch any fish, the waters were really choppy. But all in all, we had a great time, it was really fun, and it was just really, really different. We had never done anything like it before, so I'd say worth it. Many of the beaches here on Jeju have shallow waters and very mild waves, if any at all. Those are usually the beaches that we like to go to, and many of those beaches also tend to be kind of smaller in size, which is perfect for us because our kids are small, and it's just a whole lot easier to keep our eyes on them, make sure that they're safe. One of our favorite beaches on the island for exactly those reasons is Kumnung Beach. It also happens to be a very beautiful beach with fine white sand and turquoise waters. 
Another extremely popular beach is attached to it just about a five minute walk up the coast called Hyeopje Beach. Both beaches are really popular so they do tend to get really crowded. Wojungi Beach is another really popular spot not just for families but for hipsters. Trendster? Trendies? People? This beach is probably the hippest beach on the entire island with the whole street lined with trendy cafes, eateries, and souvenir shops. There are plenty of other beaches that I did not mention in this video, but I will leave a link down below if you want to do a little bit more research. Okay, so now I want to give you a couple recommendations for when it's raining or you just want to get out of the heat. Kids really do get a kick out of being at the aquarium and Aquaplanet does not disappoint. I do have to say, however, that it isn't cheap, but sometimes you're able to find coupons and discounts online or in coupon books, so do make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Of course, there are all sorts of exhibits to enjoy and I was actually surprised to see that they had added a whole lot more sharks than the last time that we had been there. The highlight of the aquarium for me whenever we go is the water show. There are two parts, with the first being like a sort of theatrical aquabatic show, and the second right after it, a dolphin show. Both shows are completely in Korean, but it's mostly visual, so it still remains highly enjoyable. There are also a couple other kid zones across the lobby, but those places are mostly in Korean. But I would say it definitely is worth a couple minutes of taking a look around. Number 6. Cheolmul Recreational Park Although this park isn't an indoor facility, the Cheolmul Recreational Forest is actually a really popular place to go when it is hot. There's also a spring water stream that was built for visitors to dip their feet in to keep cool in the sweltering summer heat. That's all for today. I really hope that this video was helpful to you in planning out your trip to Jeju Island. And if you have any other questions or would like to know more, please do leave me a comment and let's try to get you some answers. If this video was helpful to you in any way at all, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. See you next time!